God, I swear it gets everywhere. <laughs> I just used a complete wrong brush. Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, I know, I know, I know it's been a long, long while. Um, but yeah, I'm giving this another go. <laughs> this is just a little catch up video just to tell you where I'm at in terms of life. Um, I've chopped my hair off probably since my last video. Unless it was that long ago, but I still have my hair short because that was over a year ago. So could have been, but yeah. Um, I'm just gonna show you some of the makeup products that I have in my makeup bag while we do it. This one is, I got it years and years ago, but I think it's from Hollister. So yeah, it's just gonna be super chill. I'm just gonna ease myself back into it and just do my makeup. Also, I'm gonna, this is the only headband that I could find, so I'm wearing my big Disney one um, and my mirror is over here so if I keep looking down it's just because I'm looking at my mirror so first product I'm going to use on my face is a sport sport FX um, I've actually I haven't used much from this brand I got given this one by my sister because she didn't want it so I thought I might as well try it out but this has actually been my favorite primer for about a year now not that I've tried any others but I absolutely love it Packaging is quite funny, it looks all like scrunched up, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, anyway, this is the primer I'm using. I think it is actually meant for when you're doing sport, but I actually quite like it. So I'm gonna use it today. Oh, it does smell good though. But if you guys have used much from this brand, I don't know if it is, I actually don't know this brand really at all, but I've lost the lid. Um, so I don't know if it's like, a sports kind of makeup brand. It's called Sport Effects, I'm guessing so, but I don't really know. Right, on to the next one. Um, so, not a massive, massive fan of this, but can't be too bad because I haven't been, well, I've been too lazy not to get a different one, so it's all right. Not my favorite, um, but I'm trying to use cruelty-free brands, so I'm trying to find some really good cruelty-free makeup. Um, this one is Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. Um, got medium and it says like oh <laughs> haven't got medium it just says medium to full coverage what, what shade do I have f2 there we go honestly I need to get a new camera because it just will fo it's great that it focuses on my face but it just will not focus on anything else so um yeah to wax some of this on my face I do like that it has a pump that is the best and I find this one is best applied with a brush rather than a sponge. Sponge didn't really, I can't really remember, but it didn't work for me. Um, so I've been using a brush to apply this one. So, oh, get my mirror. I am officially a graduate, um, which I can't remember when I last filmed, but I don't think it was since I graduated, which was in, well, I didn't actually have graduation, but um, I graduated in, June. I got a 2-1 which I'm very 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 happy about um, there were points in the year where I thought <laughs> I was like not that a 2-2 is bad at all um, but you know just everyone kind of has their goals and where they you know want to be and aim high and all that um, so I'm really happy that I got it but yeah um, so I've been a graduate since June and then I worked in a summer job just to get some money um, and now I'm here, unemployed, watching loads and loads of Grey's Anatomy. Um, so it's not too bad a life. Just gonna put a little bit more of that on. By the way, sorry if my face is like really white. Um, I'm dealing with natural light. God, I swear it gets everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, it's not, not too bad a foundation. Um, you're really not gonna be able to see kind of at all um, what it looks like, but um, it's got kind of a dewy finish. Um, I find that it's actually all right for my dry skin because um, I get quite bad dry skin sometimes. The foundations kind of cling to the dry patches, or even if I don't think I have any, the foundations will find them. Um, so yeah, this one's not too bad. Not my favourite, but I've used it every day for about a year, and I haven't been bothered to find a new one. So there we go. You sit down and you think you're ready, and I've already thought of something that I've forgotten. Right back. Right, what was I doing? Uh, concealer. So I have two different concealers. Sorry, just try and get these on out. 
I have the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, uh, medium to full coverage. And then, one absolute classic, I've got um, Collection Last Imperfection. And it's in, I think it's, is that the old packaging? I think that's the old packaging. I think they have new packaging now. So yeah, that's how old this one is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit of this and then a little bit of extra of this because I find that this is better coverage than this one. God, I've got like spot galore at the moment. The only thing, I'm not a huge fan of this. I find that it brings out too much product sometimes and when I only want a little bit, it just brings out a bit too much, which I'm not a fan of. But yeah, I put way too much on, but I just put it underneath my eyes, on my nose, and then on like spots on my face. I haven't used that concealer for ages, but I quite like it actually. I'm just gonna use this one on the horrible spot that I've got on my cheek, try and cover that up a bit. God, I've had this spot for like probably over a month now, but it just won't go away. It's one of those under the skin ones and it just will not leave. What am I gonna do next? I'm gonna do some contour. So this one I've used for absolutely ages. Um, it's a Revolution Roxy palette. I mix this one and that one to kind of get my shade because I find that one's too light and one looks a bit too dark. Um, so yeah. And then I just go in with this Kiko bronzer. Um, purchased this after I saw Soph Does Nails uses like ones like these, and she said it was really good, so I, I purchased it. But um, I used her advice and purchased it when the collection was ending, because um, they kind of bring them out in these like different collections. This was the Ocean Feel collection, I believe. Um, it's kind of like gold packaging and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, as it got to it towards the end of the um, collection, they dropped them half price. So instead of 20, I think it was 22 pounds before, it went down to 11, which is obviously amazing. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, it's really good. It has a little mirror inside as well. And you, I've literally used this for probably about two years and it's like literally not made a dent in it, so. <laughs> Right, I've got blush. So, <laughs> my blush is such a sorry state. So, uh, it's this one. It's um, completely broken, um, but it's um, Milani. Milani? Yeah, it's actually kind of rubbed off, but I think it's Milani. <laughs> what my blush looks like, and I kind of just just tap it for this. But it was too nice a blusher to, you know, I didn't want to bin it, so I'm just, I took out the like really crumbly bit. Oh God, what am I? Oh, I just used a complete wrong brush. Again, powders is something I haven't really experimented with, but I just use the Lasting Perfection by Collection. Same as the concealer, but for the powder. Again, this is probably old packaging, but I've had it for ages. What do I do next? Highlighter. But yeah, again, I've just used the Roxy palette um, for the highlighter. Uh, I use that one there. It's just like a yellowy, kind of goldy kind of one. So, uh, yeah, for my eyeshadow, I bought these because I thought they were on sale for about, I think they were, how much? I think they were seven pounds each. I have a feeling, something like that. Um, and they are adorable and they're so good for traveling. Um, they have a little mirror in like that. Does anyone else feel a little bit like out of practice with makeup? Because I literally was, I used to do my makeup all the time and then since lockdown happened I've just kind of lived in jobbers and no makeup. Right, 
there we go so that's my eyes done um this is i think this is collection again you know so i got this one in sainsbury's and i think it is collection um it was about like three pound um yeah i actually don't mind it i think it actually looks really nice so just gonna put some mascara on so i use two different mascaras um when i'm doing kind of daytime not going out not like if i'm going out for say like drinks or anything like that for kind of like evening i use the mascara revolution which i absolutely love because it's just a bit more clumpier um a bit more volume um but during the day to like not go too over the top i use the kiko luxurious lashes maxi brush mascara there we go it's um in the gold packaging but yeah, I find that this one's just really nice daytime, kind of not too comfy, but still gives you, it gives you a lot of length actually, I find. There we go. But yeah, that is that is the look complete. Um, you probably can't see a lot um, because I just feel like the lighting isn't quite right. Um, but I'll sort that for my next few videos. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it actually feels really good to be back. I, and I think I've actually just stared into viewfinder for the whole video, so sorry about that. I'll try and look at the camera more next time. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm planning on uploading twice a week, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I might just start off with once a week and keep that regular and then maybe go up to two. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, um, please, I would love it if you subscribed, give it a thumbs up or commented. Um, I would love to hear if you use any of these products too or what products you think would be really good for me to use. But yeah, um, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.